We've put a huge amount of work in the last three years in transforming the customer experience we offer. Indeed, we put customer experience right at the heart of an operational transformation program and a wider program we've been running. So we've invested in insight, we've invested in literally reviewing everything we do and putting customer at the heart of it and then training that out and improving it. The investments that we've made in our customer experience over the last sort of year and a half um, has been on all the key fronts, so in, in both our digital technology, um, importantly our insights capability, and uh, we, in colleagues, which is ultimately one of the most important things that we do, and that's frontline colleagues, so the people who deliver the service to our customers, but importantly into all colleagues in the product and digital and customer experience spaces to really enhance their skills, to make sure that they've got the knowledge and the right approach to how we collect insight and how we really understand what customers want and importantly we can then deliver it to customers so the skills that are needed to deliver change in the organization. Unfortunately like all organizations from time to time we get things wrong but the really important thing to do is to listen when you get it wrong and then act on it. So we've done a lot of training um, across all aspects of our operations to make sure that when a customer's not happy, that we record and capture it. We then put in place a whole system of looking at the root causes behind those complaints and then dealing with each of those and putting in improvements. So for example, we now have a continuous improvement team. We systemically look at the key reasons for either emotional complaints or just volumes of complaints and then tackling what they are and then improving what we're doing for the customers. So the role of the Insight Department in Co-op Insurance is, is central to how the business runs. Um, I think a couple of years ago it was probably an undernourished and underappreciated uh, unit within the team. But what we do now is we've got a new customer service survey system, gives us great insight all along the touch points in the journey. But it's not just about the touch points, we also make sure we do journey surveys and do larger brand surveys to understand how do people feel about the brand and importantly what are the drivers of uh, that experience and emotion, what's really important because everything's not important, it's usually two or three things that make a real difference for customers. I could actually take all day on this, so there are literally hundreds of examples, but let me bring to life, say, a couple. So one example is a bereavement process. So we found that our customers were feeling that we weren't listening and we were clunky in the way that we would deal with what is a time of great, great difficulty for our customers when they're reporting the loss of a loved one? So we looked at the whole process, we uh, put it through to a specialist team, we put a whole load of training, we used our colleagues in funeral care to get empathy training, we then approached the whole thing differently. We reduced the time to deal with these types of queries and questions literally by 70% and reduced complaints by 80%. If I take another example, a more sort of a wider one, we found that the home claims process was proving to be quite clunky and quite painful. Frankly, we redesigned the whole thing. We went back to the supply chain, we went back to the whole design, we did a complete end-to-end -end review, changed it, we halved the lead time on the claims process and we reduced complaints by 60%. So it can be the big things, but it can equally be the small things. So the major challenges that we face, um, I would say about making more and more use of our data, I mean that's the revolution that's happened over the last five, eight years in data is incredible. So while I think we do some solid things and some good things, we can do a lot more with our data. As an insurer, we're blessed with huge amounts of data about customers, not just in terms of their behaviour, in terms of websites and how they interact with us, but we're also from wider sources about some of their uh, uh, risk factors etc and I think we have an opportunity to really from that craft some really brilliant personalised experiences.